In this lesson, we're going to work with the change event. The change event allows us to listen when something has changed. And when something that has changed, we can carry out an action. So what we have here is a, a drop down that has different destinations. If we pick one, um, this value has changed, right? We've changed the selected option. So since it's changed, we carry out some code and that code will show the value and the price of the selected option. So if we look at our HTML, we have a container that has an ID example and there's a drop down that has an ID of place. And that one has different destinations. Uh, they all have value and they all have a, a price. The price is using the HTML5 data tag, which allows you to append any value that you want and it will be interpreted as, as that you're storing some value there and you can access that value. So that's very common when you retrieve things from the server, like a list of elements. Um, you're going to have each one having its own ID and you want to be able to grab that ID for some reason or, or have a price um, to show the user and that um, kind of thing. So um, there's then the result container that will show uh, whatever comes in here. So um, the first thing we want to do is uh, we're going to use event delegation to listen for change events on the um, select dropdown. So I'm going to grab the, the container element, which is example, and then I'm going to listen to the change event, and I'm going to select the, the, the select that's inside of it. I could also go straight for the ID of the of this uh, dropdown, but um, it's the same thing at the end. Um, now, yeah, you could not use event delegation here. You could just go straight for the ID in here and not have this part. Um, the reason why I like event delegation is because um, sometimes the elements don't yet exist. They're dynamically loaded from somewhere else, from the server. Um, so it could be that the page is loaded, but some particular widgets within your page are not fully loaded. So by using event delegation and focusing on the container, since the container will be there, I mean, we're assuming it will be there, but if it's there, um, you'll make sure that even if the element is not yet present, you can still have the behaviors well defined. Because otherwise what would happen is that if you focus on the list in here and the list is not here at the beginning, the event handler is not going to be recorded attached to that element. So then you'll change the drop down and nothing will happen. You'll have to recall the event uh, definition. Um, all right. So the first thing uh, we'll, we'll do is grab the selected option, which um, will be very straightforward. What we want is um, this and so no, no, not this, but uh, we want yeah, we could do it with this uh, because in the other example we went straight for the selection. We'll do it with DOM traversing this time. So we'll do this and then we'll do find. And what are we looking for? We're looking for an option that's selected. Um, that's how we. That's another way how we can find the the, the selected option. Uh, remember that selected is an attribute. So uh, when you when you pick one of the options, what's going on in the background is that it has the selected attribute added to it. Now that we have the selected option, we want to grab um, the price and the value. The price, we just grab the value directly with val, I mean, sorry, the value. And the price, we use uh, the data jQuery method to, 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 that allows you to work with HTML5 data tags. And lastly, we're going to check whether the price is, uh, is actually a true value or it's not undefined. And if it's if it because if we pick like the very first one that one doesn't have a price um, so we want to avoid showing undefined in here um, so that's basically it. if if the price is actually a valid value um, about, I mean a value that's true it'll uh, will grab the result area and will add the HTML that uh, that's the value and the price so let's uh, reload the page and have this working um, see how you can um, use the change event, so we're not clicking on any button here, we're just changing a value. And it doesn't have to be a drop down, it could be a, an input field or anything else. Um, so basically what we've done here is use um, event delegation, listen to the change event on our select that's located inside of that um, container, 
and uh, we're, we're grabbing the selected option by using DOM, uh, this, that refers to the select, and using DOM traversing techniques, uh, using find and then a CSS selector to, to find what we want. Uh, we grab the value and we grab the price with, course, uh, with jQuery methods that allows, allow us to um, grab attributes in different ways. And if the price, uh, if this is true, then we are modifying the HTML of the result area.